question 4a a figure above shows the symbol of a not and gate state the basic logic gates to form the not and gate okay a not and gate is built from an and gate with a not gate in front so the basic gates to to build this not and gate is the and gate and not gate and gate and not gate so we use an and gate and a not gate to build the not and gate i think this one should be for b yeah so for b explain why a not and gate is also called a universal gate a not and gate can be used to build all other gates and therefore it's called a not uh it's called a universal gate uh, because we can use uh, combinations of not and gate uh, to build all the other gates, not gates, and gates, whatever gates, okay? So you can use just not and gates to build all other gates. Uh, therefore, it's called a universal gates. Uh. Uh, so the answer is because we can use a not AND gate or a combination of not AND gates, okay? Sometimes you can just use one not AND gate uh, to build other gates or sometimes you need to uh, a combination of not AND gates uh, to build all the other gates. Uh. So that's the reason uh, not AND gate is also called a uh, universal gate. Figure below shows a few combinations of not AND gate. Complete the truth table and state the logic gates that equivalent to each combination of a logic gate. Um, you see, okay, all of the gates are not end gate, and as I told you just now, not end gates. Uh, uh, when we combine them together, it can be used to build another gate. Uh. So, what are the equivalence gate? Uh, to answer the questions, uh, either you memorize it, okay, or uh, you can use the truth tables, uh, the truth tables to find the answer. Now, uh, since the these questions, they already give us a truth table and they would like us to fill in the truth tables. Uh, therefore, let's try to use the truth tables to find what's the equivalence gate. Eh? In exam, sometimes they may want you to uh, draw the truth tables by yourself. Okay, So to draw the truth tables, first, uh, you, you, need to you need to have a table with three columns, okay? three columns and a six, uh, five row. Uh, the first row is the title, so we have input x, we have input x and input y, and then we have uh, output z. Uh, the labels of the input output may be different, okay, sometimes they may use p or q or x, okay, whatever. Uh, usually the problem is that the student, they don't know what's the input that they should give here, okay, because usually the input is given in the questions, huh? so if they're asked to build the uh, truth table by themselves, then they don't know what's the inputs to put here, okay. Uh, so you try to remember this, uh, try to memorize this. Usually, usually the first input, the input uh, for the, the, the first source, okay, uh, is 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, of course, you can use 1, 1, 0, 0 also uh, if you want, okay. And uh, the second one, usually we use uh, 0, 1, 0, 1. You must remember this or try to memorize it. Of course, you can use 1, 0, 1, 0. It's up to you, okay. Uh, but usually we use 0011 or, and a 0101. Eh? Okay, if you use 1100 and 1010, it's also can, no problems, okay? So if this is the input, eh, okay? So let's copy the input here. For input x is uh, 0011. Eh? And uh, this one also 0011. So the second one is a 0101, 0101. So when the currents go here, it's also 0101. Eh? And uh, this is a not AND gate, okay? You will find that uh, after this not AND gate, uh, the products or the output that you get will be 1100, one, one, eh? okay? This one will be 1010, zero, one, zero, okay? You, you can try to work it out, okay? But uh, actually, if a not AND gate, this is a not AND gate, uh, where uh, the two uh, input is combined together, then it will act as a not gate, eh? not get where the zero will become one and the one will become zero so this one one zero zero and this one become one zero one initially zero one zero one it will become one zero one zero 
And then uh, these two input, okay, go to the second node, uh, the third node AND gate here, okay. For the AND gate first, okay, for the AND gate first, 1, 1, you will get 1. 1, 0, you will get 0. 0, 1, you will get 0. 0, 0, you will get 0. And uh, after this NOT gate here, then the output becomes 0, 1, 1, 1. So that is uh, the output uh, of Z. So the output is zero. Let's change the color. Okay. So the output is zero, eh? one, one, one. Okay. And uh, from the truth tables, then we can see that this is equivalent to an OR gate, right? Okay. Zero, zero, you get zero, zero, one, you get one, one, zero, you get one, and one, one, you get one. This is the truth table for OR gate. Eh? So the equivalence gate for these combinations of gates, uh, the equivalence gate is. Is the OR gate. So in the questions that they would like you to give the equivalent gates as well. Eh? So this is an OR gate. How about this one? Okay, this one should be 4C2. So the input 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And now let's write here 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So for this AND gate, 0, 0, you will get 0. 0, 1, you will get 0, 1, 0, you will get 0, and 1, 1, you will get 1. Uh, but the output, uh, because there's a NOT gate here, okay, so then it will become a 1, 1, 1, 0. Yeah? 1, 1, 1, 0. And then, so, um, so this 1, 1, 1, 0, this one also 1, 1, 1, 0, okay. Um, as I told you just now, okay, if a NOT AND gates where the two inputs uh, joins together, combines together, okay, it will act as a NOT gate, uh, Okay, you act as a NOT gate. Let's prove it. Okay, let's prove it. For the AND gate, for the AND gates, 1, 1, you will get 1, 1, 1, you will get 1, 1, 1, you will get 1, and 0, 0, you get 0, okay? And after this NOT gate, the output will become 0, 0, 0, 1. So you see, the 1 becomes 0, 1 becomes 0, and the 0 becomes 1, eh? okay? So this one act exactly like a NOT gate, right? So the output is 0, 0, 0, 1, eh? So the output is zero, 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 one. Okay, now from the truth tables, can you please tell me? So what's the equivalence gate? This is the truth table for what? For an AND gate, right? This is a truth table for AND gate. A zero, zero, you get zero, zero, one, get zero, one, zero, you get zero, one, one, you get one. So this is the AND gate. So the equivalence gate is an AND gate. So the last one. And uh, this one should be three. Yeah? Or C3. Okay, so what's the equivalence gate and what's the truth table? Okay, now if uh, you study this carefully, you will find that um, this gate, this gate is uh, very similar to the first gates that we study, especially this part. Okay, especially this part. You will find that it's exactly the same as. Uh, the first gate, uh, the first combinations of gate is exactly the same as this one. You will find that, right? See, uh, this one and this one is exactly the same. They are exactly the same. So if the input is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, then the output, uh, okay, then the output, okay, the output is 0, 1, 1, 1. Uh, so I, I think we, we don't want to do to repeat all this again. Okay, straight away we we can tell that if the input is zero zero one one and zero one zero one, the output here will be zero one one one. So the output here is zero one one one. And then we also learn that when the not not end gates are where the two inputs combines together, it will become a not gate, right? Okay, so therefore the output will become one zero zero zero. Okay. So the output here is uh, one. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, and uh, if you study this carefully, then you will find that uh, this is a truth table for a not OR gate. Okay, for the not OR gate. Therefore, the equivalence gate is the not OR gate. So that is the answer.